Now guys, uh, heading out today on a species hunt. Uh, the weather is was down today uh, being a bit rough. Sea conditions, uh, as well as looking at weather forecasts, it's a good idea to go down and have a look yourself. I had a look myself and it looks uh, pretty good at the moment. So we're clear to go fishing, so we'll see how we do. Now heading out with fellow club member Ken today in his boat. Now guys, we're in behind the harbour wall, it's nice and calm, but a good uh, rule of thumb is to always look beyond the harbour wall to see what the weather's like. And as you can see, it looks uh, calm enough at the present. So the weather is set to change, so I've went out today in a convoy of boats, you'll see one ahead of me, so there's about uh, six boats out at the moment, so it's safety in numbers, just in case things do change. Measure him. And force fish guys a mackerel. Now guys, second fish is a whitening and you can see Ken beside me has a dogfish so we're about on. And Ken here, guys, with a little flat there, you just see him flapping in the wind. And more whitening, guys. I'm actually trying to target smooth hounds, but uh, they're not biting tonight. Now the sea conditions are getting worse, you can see that there's white caps starting to form on the water and I have a clip after this which I'll leave the place so you can hear the kind of wind picking up. Now we do have a plan B in place, we're going to move the boats over to the harbour wall and usually closer to the harbour wall the conditions get a bit calmer. So that's the plan B and it's looking like that's what we're going to be doing. Now guys, so it's time to use plan B. Uh, you can see from the clip here, there's water starting to splash up over the boat. So conditions are just getting a bit uh, dangerous now. So myself and Ken and the other guys are fishing with, we decide now to move over to the harbour wall and you'll see when we get over there, it's a lot calmer. So guys, uh, you'll see the water splashing up over the front of the boat there and we are turning around to get our anchor. Now, as Ken's getting the anchor, I'm just switched to a spinning rod with some feathers on it. I was using ragworm uh, with weight because we were at anchor, but now we're taking the anchor up. I'm just doing a bit of spinning. Feels like a mackerel, but it's our friend there uh, whitening again. So I'm just going to take him in and get him off the hook and then me and Ken are going to head in. Now guys in safe again the harbour wall and Ken's picked up a small pollock straight away. Nice size. Now guys here's Ken's second pollock and it's a good size, it's 44 centimetres. And just put it down to the measuring stick just to show you the size. And I'm just going to pick him up now just to give you a better look at him. And Ken's going to have him for dinner tonight. Oh, I'm on. It doesn't feel like mackerel. Oh, yes it does. Now it does. So guys, weather conditions uh, followed us to the wall, getting worse, so we decided to head back in. Right guys, heading back in now. Uh, weather's a bit rough out there this evening. Got some pollock, mackerel, dogfish. 
Thanks guys for watching. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you again soon.